hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce pole so guys in today's video we'll create a pdf file in our lightning web component we are not going to generate like we did in old ways like in uh, visual force page we used to do render as pdf so we are not going to follow the those ways we will be creating a new file okay so guys to create a new file i'll be using this pdf library so i found this library while looking for other ways to generate the pdf so i will be using this pdf library so in this pdf library guys there are few examples here like you can create new pdf merge pdf file modify it create forms in it uh, there was a huge list of examples let me show it to you so if you will go to pdf libjsorg then there's a list of feature set and in this list of feature set you may notice create new pdf modify existing create form you can fill forms flatten forms add new pages insert pages maybe if you would like to merge few pdf file then you can do that you can draw text image draw pdf okay there are a lot of features available for that so guys uh, for today's demo i will be using this create pdf module here so let's go to examples so i will be using this create document and i will show you how you can utilize this functionality in our lightning web component okay so let's start the demo and let me open my vs code so i will create new component for that okay let's name it create pdf okay it will be in default directory all right guys so the first thing will be to include the javascript from this so you may use this first one the pdf lib dot uh, js okay all right let me save this on desktop maybe so we can just easily find it so this javascript file is saved on my desktop okay now guys the first thing you need to do here is to use this javascript file as a static resource so i will open my default org and i will use this file as a static resource here okay So this is my default org. Let's go to static resource. Okay, let's create new one and let's name it PDF LIB. Okay. Choose the file desktop. Here it is. All right so the static resource is ready now we will just import that static resource here so here we will do import static resource name from resource url and then the name of the static resource which was pdf lib okay so this was the static resource and guys after adding the static resource uh, you have to load the script inside the static resource so for that we will import the load script part if you are having a few styles as well let's say few css so you may uh, use load style as well but for this demo i will be using just load script from okay 
all right let me save it now let's go back to that example once let's go to examples and this is to create a new document so here i will copy this function and let me just paste it here okay so the function is ready okay now let's go to HTML file and let's copy the lightning card or maybe we can use this one okay let's change the title All right, and we will have a simple button here. So let's use lightning button. Label could be create PDF. And on click, we will call that uh, JavaScript function, which was create PDF. So let's copy the name and paste it here. Okay. So that will be our HTML file. So now the HTML file is ready. Let's go back to JavaScript. Okay, now guys in JavaScript, we will create a render callback here just to load the script. In that render callback, we will just load the script. We won't be doing any action there. So let's create render callback. Okay, now we will use load script here and we will load this dot pdf library if you need to perform any action on the load of the pdf then you may uh, use this then condition here but for now i won't be performing any action here but you can keep it uh, for further references okay so the file is uh, ready so for this create pdf function to make it work in your lightning web component I and mean, if you'll try to run this functionality directly it is not going to run here because we have used the load script but still we have to use the parent class name here before this uh, pdf document function so the parent class name uh, in that javascript file was pdf L I B. Okay. Okay, we have to use this in a standard fonts. Okay, and apart from standard fonts, we will be using it here as well. Okay. Because guys, in this create uh, document example, you may notice they were importing the PDF document standard font and rgb from this pdf lib so we cannot import it directly but we can use it uh, using uh, the main uh, parent name which was pdf lib so that's why i have used the main parent name here uh, before calling the internal function so these these are the basically internal function inside that uh, documentation okay so guys this was the code to create a pdf file so but still we have to you know uh, do some efforts to download it okay let me change the text here okay that's what we are doing right now okay so guys using this pdf bytes we are having PDF file in byte format but still we have to save it and I found a very good function for it online and let me just use it here 
actually I found this function in one of the example online so I will name it uh, save byte array because overall we are having PDF file in a byte and we will use PDF name and the byte array here okay so let's use blob here to generate and download the file and the type will be pdf so we will use application slash pdf then we will create an element here and then we will use the simple href object URL and we will use plot there I don't know I mean there could be some other ways as well through which you may just download the file you, uh, by triggering the browser download but I find this uh, function pretty handy so that's why I'm uh, using it here PDF name link now we will just trigger the link all right so guys this will be the function which we'll be going to use to download the pdf now we just have to call this function so we'll just use this dot uh, save byte array here it is we'll name the file let's say uh, my pdf and in bytes we will just pass this byte here all right so seems like the code is ready and i hope we won't get any error okay let's make it visible first okay let's go to meta and copy these things so the file could be visible uh, all right seems like we are good to go here let's deploy it then okay the file has been deployed successfully now let's go back to that org here's my org and this is my app in which i'll be using that uh, lightning web component and i think i can put it in other examples category so let's edit the page and let's search for the create PDF component. Here it is. Okay, so we are having an error here. Load script and load style must be an LWC component. Okay, let's save this first and after that we will check for the issue. Okay, let's save this and go back let's say load script I think I did some um, typos maybe so we are just storing load script from lightning light form resource seems fine to me and we are using it in render callback this is also fine 
let me just try to deploy it again nope we are still having the same error it says the first parameter of load script and load style must be an LWC component So it would be okay. I found the mistake. Actually, here I used full stop instead of this comma. So as I said, this could be a typo. And hopefully we won't be getting any other error now. Let's refresh this. Okay, so we are having button which was which is looking a little weird right now because it does not have any background. Okay, we are having lightning card. Let's have a div tag here with background color white. Okay, what else can we do here? I think it's fine here. Or maybe let's keep it below this lightning card and we can use uh, some padding here as well. Okay, it will look good now. And let me move aside my picture because the file will be downloaded on the bottom left corner of the screen. Okay. So let's reload it. Okay. All right. I think these silly mistakes. Mm -hmm. Let me deploy it again. I don't know still maybe due to this typo I think we'll be getting the white color now all right okay so we are having the white color we are having the padding as well let's click on this button and let's see if we get any error or success here Okay guys, so you can see on the bottom left corner of my screen, the file has been downloaded. The file name is exactly the same, my PDF. And let's open it and let's see what does it says. Okay, it says learning with Salesforce Fold. That's what we are doing right now. All right. So guys, uh, that's how you can use this PDF uh, library in your lightning web component to create PDF to merge PDF file to insert uh, something in an existing file or maybe to create a form to fill a form to add it a PDF there was so many examples available guys you may see some familiar videos to this PDF library in upcoming uh, videos guys so uh, that's it for today guys and as always I will be having the complete code on my blog which is salesforcebold.com so do check it out and feel free to modify it as per requirement and if you like today's videos guys a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching